What's up guys? Got finished with a custom build for my buddy Sharif. He went with a Florida Gators build. So we did a custom Cerakoted dial um, that took a very long time. So <laughs> what we had to do was do the Gator in green and then bake it and then do the overlay in orange and get it off as much green as possible and then bake it. Do the same thing with the white around there and then do the rest in blue. So it was four stages of baking, four different Cerakote colors um, on the dial. So laser etched out completely around and then went back in with airbrush Cerakote uh, all the raised parts which was the gator itself. Gator itself, your line there, anything that's in blue is what's recessed down in. Uh, anything with color is coming up out, so each one of those things had to be uh, airbrush painted, sanded, and uh, done what we can with it. So that's how it came out. And then pips for the hour markers going all around. There for reference. Did a white handset, custom painted um, seconds hand. That's normally a silver seconds hand. We did that in white with the orange there at the tip. Um, a mixture of blue and orange Cerakote. We've got a blue and orange case. So I uh, did the whole thing in uh, orange, then taped off the sides, went back through and did the whole thing in blue and baked it in. Did a custom engraved seconds hand. I'm sorry, custom engraved crown. I was looking at the seconds hand when I said that. Um, on the other side, laser back in the gators here on the side. I'm trying to get this to focus in properly. It doesn't know what keeps picking my hands instead of what I'm actually showing you guys. There we go. Wow. I think it gets worse every single time. Do so think it's too close? There we go. Apparently I needed to just get my hands out of the way. Um, coin bezel, we done that in uh, blue. And then I had a orange five dot um, insert. So the double dots there referencing the, uh, the 12 o'clock area. And then did the same thing with the band. I know what the problem is. My camera's bent down so far that only things like immediately in front of my phone I can even see. So, um, blue Cerakote throughout, and then did the sides in orange. And then did a mixture on the clasp. I took this piece off and just did this separately in orange. And then we have the Gators logo there and a little BBW there at the bottom. Stainless steel movement holder, um, silver rotor there, and then a low profile exhibition case back. So that is your build, man. I hope you like it. It was, uh, it was a lot of work <laughs> to get us where we needed to go. When, we, when you do two colors, not too terrible. When we had other colors mixed in there, that's when it added a level of of, uh, of of pause. So uh, uh, bezel will turn left. Bezel will turn right with his extra layers of Cerakote because it's double layered. The whole thing's in orange and then taped off and then in blue. That plus this is also Cerakoted. This bezel barely turns so you should always pretty much have it right where you want it. <clears throat> Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it. You can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads to hear it and feel it clicking. You want to make sure you're off the threads, you feel that little bit of play there. At that point, you can wind it. And a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep time throughout the day. And if you do this for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you can pull it to the one and only click and now set your time. 
does not have a hacking movement in there, so it's going to keep going. You also notice you got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So while you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on the movement. Okay, Google, what time is it? Seven. There we go. When you're good. Push it over. Get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And that is your build, sir. So hope you love it. Um, a lot of time and, and effort uh, went into it, so I, I I hope it does it justice for you, man. Um, as with every build, you're going to get matching beads. Entirely up to you how cool you are whether you wear them with it or not. And then lastly, you're going to get a blue stained. Come on, phone, just to focus. Blue stained uh, gator box. As with everybody, you're going to get watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So this watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. And you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like poly watch and it's for your acrylic glass. You can scratch it, but if you do, put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against it using your included microfiber. Um, it scratches up and down, go left and right with it, fill in, in that scratch and buff it out. If you scratch the Cerakote, you're screwed. It's like scratching the pan on your car if you scratch it down. Um, you know, if you do a little bit of a scratch, you can kind of put some gun oil on it and kind of blend it in. Kind of the same thing with knocking off a little bit of your uh, clear coat on your car. But if you're uh, looking at silver, um, there's no uh, there's no getting that back. So uh, that's your build, man. I appreciate you a ton. Thank you for your support. And um, if you want me to build you something custom, you need to reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.